me what I cannot do. What I cannot do. That's a clip from South Park. Kind of poking fun at the Jonas Brothers, but we have two out of the three Jonas Brothers on the line. Joe and Kevin. How you guys doing? What's up, guys? How you doing? We're doing great. You know, we can never get Nick on the line. We've had Joe on several times. Kevin's been on our show several times. Does Nick have, like, some kind of problem with us, man? <laughs> no, I know. Actually, uh, he's right now he's actually doing an interview with uh, Rolling Stone. Ah. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, that oh okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we just played a little clip from South Park. What did you guys think when you saw the episode cuz I'm sure you've seen it, right? You know, I think for us it's 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 kind of flattering, you know what I mean? I mean, Absolutely. Like, like when a comedian makes fun of you or anybody like that, you kind of have to sit back and laugh cuz you know they're doing their job and uh you you can't you can't uh, take yourself too seriously. You have to understand that it's all in good fun. And you, it means you guys are iconic. If they're, if You're South huge. Park is coming at you, it means you are bigger than life. So I would think, yeah, you, you got to take that as being flattered. Now, did you hear about it beforehand, or did you just all of a sudden, you know, it's on, or you had buddies calling you going, oh, my gosh, you guys are on South Park? Um, yeah, actually, like a, like a year or two ago, they, they showed a picture of me. Uh, this is Joe. Showed a picture of me in South Park in one of the episodes. And I thought that was cool enough, but to have, I was like, what? Um, but your buddies are definitely calling you up. They're like, did you see it? It's so funny. And so, pretty hilarious. <laughs> okay, well, that being said, do you guys have the purity rings on right now? Now, you know we're not going to talk about that. Oh, okay, <laughs> oh really? Okay. I think it's cool, though, guys. I think you guys are awesome. I well, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> was it Joe that was uh, driving the Mustang? Yeah. Okay. It, how do you, I mean, you must hate that. You guys are, you're, you're, you, you do everything. People are watching. You have, like, you know, cameras all around you. So what happened with that? You were driving that classic Mustang, and you kind of went to make the right turn, and you sideswiped that car. It was actually Nick. Oh, was it Oh, Nick? was it Nick? Okay. Okay, what yeah. happened with that? Well, you know, like if you actually look at the videos or if you see any of the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, there's kind of no way out of there and lots and lots of people but you know what um our people absolutely took care of it and they, it was taken care of appropriately we got in contact with the owner of the vehicle and everything was taken care of oh that's uh, cool and how would that be to be like a jonas brother and you you, you side swipe a car you like my people will take care of it yeah. don't worry my servants will call you <laughs> shortly well i hope somebody punched him in the arm for hurting that beautiful mustang because that thing was gorgeous Oh, don't worry. That's uh, that's all Nick's, and he he that's his baby. What what year is that Mustang? It's a '68. '68. Oh, nice, oh, nice. It was a, it's a beautiful car. Yeah. Hey, so you guys are coming out for Stadium of Fire, and uh, I'm sure you know as well as anybody how just I don't want to use the word psycho, but let's say enthusiastic your fans are. Um, what? Because we're getting the emails about people wanting the world tour to come to Salt Lake. They're not happy. <laughs> Just with the Stadium of Fire, what's the what's the difference in the two shows? Um, well, I think we will have some most of our production. I think because it is a it's a special event, and they already have like you know their firework thing. They got all that stuff. They're bringing us in pretty much for like a one off. Um, you know, it's going to be a great show. We're really pumped about it, but we definitely are going to bring the show that we're playing or as much as humanly possible production wise to the show. Do you guys do um, uh, a lot of like costume changes during your concerts? Because I think I would just per. Personally, and I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm a guy, but I want to see the Jonas Brothers dressed as ninjas. I see myself dressed as a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually kind of cool. You yeah. know, they just kind of put on a, but like I could see maybe ninja come out like in a, like the fuzzy underwear, do like a Conan thing. Just really give us a lot of different looks. I like that idea. What about like some dragons or? Yeah. Superheroes? I mean, they, they sure. Don't. Anything spandex, I think, would make your fans. <laughs> no, because then you're kind of crossing the line with like a kids show, like a like a Wiggles or something. Like, if you start coming out like a, dressed as a dragon, I don't know. I, well, everything right now is that it's either about it's either about the beginning. You know, movies are about do, redoing everything and starting at the beginning, yeah. or just superheroes. Speaking of clothes, so we heard some stuff about a week ago, two weeks ago, that you had some fans that kind of flashed you guys. Oh, yeah. Now, how old were these girls? Were they young girls or were they like old ladies? You know, I we I did not see that. <laughs> we did we did not notice this, and apparently uh, apparently somebody wrote about it, but um, we have not caught that yet. I bet oh, it's really? hard though. How do you guys? I bet everywhere you look, it's like boobs, boobs, boobs. Like, how do you not? Well, do you? I don't know. I mean, it's because I think some of the fans might be on the cusp of that. Because I yeah. think for the most part, your fans wouldn't do that. But do, um, do you get that from time to time? Girls kind of flashing themselves. Some of the older fans. 
You know, that has not really been a case with us. Mm-hmm. And it is with us. We move around so much, and there's those spotlights in your face. It is definitely harder to see a lot when you're out there. Yeah, and I bet you they put they put the kibosh on it because there are a lot, a lot of younger fans there. Yeah. I mean, if I were a father and had a daughter that was there, or son, I wouldn't want him or her seeing that, you know? No. Not at a Jonas Brothers show. So it's definitely a family show, but it's a lot of fun. It's exciting. And, you know, we're gearing up for this tour right now, and the album, of course, with, you know, the song Paranoid that, you know, released in it. You know, we're... We're really excited about it. We have um, a lot of things going on with this tour that we're in rehearsals. Actually, we're driving me and Joe right now to the rehearsals as we speak. Wow. Oh, cool. If I get a chance to meet you guys while you're in town, I'm going to flash you just on principle. <laughs> <laughs> they might have to escort you out. That's okay. <laughs> but, but you know what? It'd be a lot different than a lot of the other times it's happened. The Jonas Brothers class act, I would be gently escorted out. Yeah. Yeah. Then tased in the parking lot <laughs> away from the other like, fans. I'm going to be like, did you see that guy flash? you be like, oh, no, he's our friend. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, going back to the enthusiastic fans. So we got another email. We got a ton of emails wanting the, the second show here in Utah. Mm-hmm. But this uh, email is from a Jonas Brothers fan. And they're trying to get together with other fans to do a Jonas camp. Have you heard about this Jonas camp? Oh, what is this? I guess they're doing like the, a camp for all the Jonas fans. and they do- No, Frank, that's happening. Is they've it happening? Got it, they've got it. There are Jonas Brothers fans here in Utah. And they have this they going? They are coordinating a giant s- summer, this summer, Jonas Brothers, like, big camp where they all get together. And have Jonas Brothers activities and stuff like and that. So camp, you, have, yeah. you haven't heard anything about that from your fans? Are there? Pardon? Say, say that again? I said, what kind of activities would you have at a Jonas Brothers camp? I don't know. Probably painting your guys' faces on baskets weaved out of the sticks or... <laughs> we don't I, know. I don't know. Well, you know what? You know, more power to them. We love our fans, and they definitely are, like you said, enthusiastic. But they, they have showed us, you know, so much love and support. But we wouldn't do what we were able to do today or any of these days without them. So. That's cool that you appreciate them, yeah. And now the last time we had, I believe it was Joe on the line, and Joe was telling us about one of the just kind of off-the-wall but cool gifts that one of the fans sent, and I think it was a, a shark. Dead shark, yeah, yeah. it was a shark. Yeah, we got a dead shark once. Pretty ama- That was pretty interesting. Um, I think another one was we had a, um, a person name a hippo after us at a wildlife reserve. Oh, cool. Well, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So we're like, all right, we have a hippo. That'd make me a little self-conscious about my weight, but you guys are all (laughs) in pretty good shape, so. All right. No, but um, we just came back from uh, South America, and we played in Peru, and we got all these amazing, like, instruments. Like, you know those flutes that people uh... You're kind of breaking up there. Yeah, are you guys there? Yeah, can you hear us? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you got a bunch of the instruments there? Oh, shoot. Can you hear us okay? Or the Jonas Brothers. Per- oh, oh, we lost them. Oh, we oh. lost the Jonas And I wanted to ask what little Frankie Jonas has been up to, because every time we get him on, we You've say, You've got hey. a bond with little Frankie well, yeah. Jonas. I'm like, what's up with Frankie? Because the last time we had Joe on, he said that Frankie came into the room like that day or the day before and said, Guys, I'm building a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just a like a funny little brother. Well, he's got to do that stuff because he's got to compete with the Joe Bros. But he's totally brothers. serious because he's got all that Jonas Brothers money laying around. <laughs> he's like, peel me off a couple hundred oh, grand. No, they're calling back. Call back. Let's Go ahead, just pick him. it up. All right. Hey, are you guys there? Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, oh, my gosh. That's I can't right. believe it. Did you guys call this back? We were Two thinking. Two calls in oh. one day. We Yay. are amazing. That's awesome. Hey, uh, we were just talking about this before we got cut off. Last time we had you on, I think we were talking to Joe, we asked, what's up with little Frankie Jonas? Because he's kind of a, a cute little guy. He's always up to things. So what's up with little Frankie? What's he doing? Frankie is doing, you know, really well. Uh, you know, he's actually, you know, he's in our new TV show that we're really pumped about. And uh, he's, he's having a blast. But right now he's actually, like, starting to get really good into music and different things like that. So that's really, really, really cool. Now, you told us that the last time we had you on, you said that, that he walked into the room one day and said, guys, I'm building a rocket ship. What, what's Is he working on anything like that on the side right now? Um, <laughs> more of like a doomsday advice, take over the world. You know? <laughs> I knew He's it. Cute. Frankie Jonas behind swine flu. <laughs> oh, that's oh. hilarious. That would be a very negative thing. Okay, so we got a text to 82945 at our short code. People are asking you guys if you're scared of Mickey Mouse. What does that mean? That's it's from, from, the, South from the South Park. Oh, okay, yeah. was it? Yeah. Okay. I missed because it. Because okay. they work, you know, there's Disney, and yeah, oh, so that's the whole thing. I'm sure Mickey is very nice to them. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So you got to watch the show. I'm not a South Park fan. You need to watch it. All right, so you guys are coming to town July 4th. Nothing yeah. nothing on a second show, though, but you're going to be here for Stadium of Fire. Oh, yeah, we're, we're pumped. We're, we will be there, and 
of being American and rocking on July 4th. Right on. Nice. Well, we've got Joe and Kevin. We appreciate you guys calling us back, even after you got clipped there on the cell phone. So big round of applause Thank for the you. Jonas Brothers. Thank you, guys. Talk to you soon. Tell Nick we said hey and what up to Frankie, okay? Okay. Will do. See you guys.